watching natural language kick in is is just unbelievable to me, and it's obvious. Uh, and clearly, you guys are uh, are 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 pursuing the the most innovative path here. Uh, and and I think people really need to see how generative AI actually starts to integrate into kind of killer applications, if you will. Um, and, but I'm curious. Uh, because you have Claire and you have Claire GPT, can you just briefly talk about what the difference between the two of them are? Claire and Claire GPT are essentially um, uh, 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 are essentially two sides of the same coin, uh, coin duck, right? So Claire has been our the the Claire has been the term that we are using as our uh, the, as our go to. Uh, you know, terminology for the broader AI offerings that Informatica serve, Informatica provides, right? And we have been investing on Clear as a solution since 2017, as I mentioned. And Clear GPT is our new age, um, uh, a new age offering, new age service that the customers can use um, to interact with in natural language to do data management, data management tasks. So, Clear GPT is the you know next evolution of clear as a solution and, and and i think that that would be the right way um uh for me to put that well and i know uh we have a way for folks to um to join the preview of uh of clear gpt can we bring that up uh, oh absolutely and uh thanks for the reminder doug so this is uh, the so we are uh, actively looking for our customers to work. We are actively looking for customers to work with uh, for our clear next generation clear copilot as it, um, uh, uh, the one that you saw. Um, and if you guys or if if anyone is interested, they can go to this particular link and they can enroll uh, for the program. Um, we would uh, there is a cycle where we would uh, the, we are going through. Uh, the different customers. Um, we may not be able to reach out to every one of you, but for sure, um, uh, we will uh, uh, evaluate and we will reach out um, uh, to work closer to to, to understand and um, to make sure that our vision is aligned with your use cases. Well, again, it's an exciting time, and and we always encourage everybody who watches an event like this to uh, to use this as a way to begin to engage on on these sorts of technologies. I mean, what you're seeing here is 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 going to rapidly be a have to have. Um, we, we think about nice to haves and have to haves here at Solutions Review. Um, how you deal with uh, AI, generative AI, how you are leveraging your data uh, is is just going to be a have to have and working. I mean, you know, Informatica, uh, we're thrilled to have you in the spotlight because you're, you know, right at the top right of the magic quadrant, upper right uh, in iPaaS and in data integration, um, clearly, you know, one of the leading uh, thought leaders uh, for this sort of uh, evolution. And, and I want to actually come back to something that you talked about, Abilish, um, in your presentation, and that was Infocor, uh, because I don't want to miss out on emphasizing that value of data quality because that is where the whole thing begins to break down. Am I correct in that? That's my sense anyway. That is correct. I mean, if you do not have quality data, garbage in is garbage out and the AI models will either be more biased or they can hallucinate. So quality, data quality is one of the, you know, the most important thing for this generative AI projects so or the models to perform more efficiently. And Infocore is 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 the uh, kind of state of the art for Informatica with regard to to data cleansing. So Informatica already has a data quality offering. It's been there for many many years. Now Infocore is just an extension of uh, the existing data quality functionality. As a matter of fact, the entire IDMC or uh, cloud platform functionality is exposed as an SDK. And data quality is just one piece of it. We have exposed our connectors, we have exposed our data integration functionality, unstructured data parsing, and data quality as well. So that InfoCore is basically the SDK of our cloud platform, and it can be embedded into any uh, UI. You know, if data scientist is more comfortable using Jupyter Notebooks or PyCharm, yes, we bring the platform to your UI. That's InfoCore. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's my sense that AI is kind of landing like a time bomb in, uh, in, in, in enterprise technology and, and you really need to, to understand clearly who you're going to work with and what you're going to do with it. And, and I want to get a sense for um, LLMs and vector databases in particular. Which ones are you supporting in this particular initiative? So our goal is to support all of the popular vector databases that are out in the market, um, whether it's Pinecone or uh, ChromaDB, Postgres, you know, name it, right? So Snowflake, Snowflake has vector functionality, MongoDB, Elasticsearch. Our goal is to support, I mean, we already have connectors to Snowflake. It's just a matter of extending the current capability to support this new vector databases. And on top of that, adding, you know, they're, they're like a, one of the things I mentioned is there are more and more startups <clears throat> in this space and we are seeing new vendors like Pinecone, ChromaDB, and, and we are building specialized connectors for these vector databases. And while we do that, we need some specialized functionality as well to power these vector databases. I kind of briefly touched on, you know, um, uh, unstructured data parsing, data chunking, um, and also calling some LLMs to generate embeddings and you know you can store those embeddings in these vector databases. And in order to generate the embeddings, we are going to support all the popular LLMs that are out there, whether it's OpenAI, AWS, all the models that AWS Bedrock supports, Azure OpenAI, um, Hugging Face models. So we are going to support all of those uh, to kind of power the RAG architectures. Uh, this has been great. Thanks very much for the time today. Very much appreciated. And best of luck with the rollout for, uh, for, for everything that's coming. Um, I think Claire is is going to be an exciting um, innovation. Yep, we are ready for anything, um, uh, anything Doug, right? anything related to AI. So. That's great. Thanks for having us, Doug. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.